the best advice I can give is BIM needs to be what the organisation needs it to be. Don't try and overcomplicate it. Think about the end game. What is it that the organisation needs and then define it backwards. It's a mistake to also approach BIM from a purely construction perspective. BIM will deliver real value if clients approach it from a building perspective and not simply construction. So, where do I find the benefits? Quite simply, it's about making life simpler, cheaper and quicker. How quickly can we build a Waitrose store? How quickly can we build a 250,000 square foot John Lewis store? How much change can I eliminate from the process? Each client needs to set up it up in its own way. If you're a multiple use client like Waitrose, then you'll get great benefit from volume of use. So we invest our time and money in driving great standards and having common principles. I'm sure you've all seen the analogy of 110, 100. For every pound you spend designing, you spend 10 pounds building and 100 pounds operating. So where do you think we need to focus the benefits of BIM? I've thought of, uh, when I've been talking about the BIM strategy within my business, I've, been, I've explained it as a building. <coughs> we need to get the foundations right. And the foundations for our business are standards, libraries, and defining the end user requirements. On top of that, that gives us a really good platform to build from. You then put in all of your elements around design, making sure they collaborate together, and, and software allows you to do that now. And then you go for innovation on top of that. So what's all the standard stuff around innovation? Well, it's not really innovation, but it's, it's that next level. 4D programming, cost, 5D cost estimation, energy mod modeling, use of consumables, etc., utilities. And then for somebody like John Lewis, can we start driving staffing models? Can we start driving off-site manufacture? Can we start even driving our merchandising systems, maintenance systems, and BMSs all from this model? And that's where we are today. We're starting to push into these areas of what traditionally was a construction tool into making it work for the business. If I talk about ava merchandise availability on shelves in a Waitrose, I get the commercial director listening. If I talk about um, building Revit families to support the business, he switches off. If I talk about saving, getting the right people in the right place at the right time to the finance director and saving out staffing hours, I get them listening. If I talk about parameters and families, they switch off. What is it, why do we need all this? It's all far too complicated. As a client, it is our duty to provide leadership. It's achieved by leading the supply chain in delivering accurate and well-defined deliverables. The business benefit comes through volume and the life of the building. Build on solid foundations and then innovate. And these are a few examples of where we've done. This is a store that opened in King's Cross uh, about three or four weeks ago. You can see the BIM model at the bottom and the reality. That has a huge amount of technical expertise behind it, but actually what the guys in the business needed to do was understand what it looked like, understand what it felt like, and understand how to build it. And it delivered all that as well. We worked with English Heritage. Um, it's, in a, it's in an old railway shed. We couldn't drill into anything but the mortar work. No brick was allowed to be drilled, yet we designed that store in a full BIM environment to actually deliver that. It was one of the easiest projects we ever got signed off by English Heritage. Um, another one, an issue with the consent scheme. This is a project in Dorking. The architect said that they, uh, they couldn't have delivered this without using Revit. And lastly, our store in Horsham, uh, which opened um, last month. Our architects offered the business a 25% fee reduction if we would build libraries and we would allow them to use Revit. That speaks volumes in our business for our supply chain wanting to help us deliver an efficient strategy. Thank you.